Shalom to everyone. Let's see if I can make this video quick. All right. Because I don't want to dwell on this <clears throat> for so long. Because um, I have some, some real important issues. Um, well, some important information. I'm getting ready for the classes. All right. So there's still time. You all can still enroll. All right. But uh, I'm going to get into this calendar again for the last time. Because, like I said, it's futile to go back and forth with some, some you know, people that already think they know or, or well they do know a lot of them are, you know good you know people and uh but when a person gets to the point where they can when, when they can say to you okay uh you're wasting your time getting to where i am trying to get where I, we already been all right those are red lights there should be a, a, a light bulb should pop up in your head and the glow of what's being said in that light bulb should be arrogant okay when our people start getting information getting knowledge getting views and you know people start following them and you know when our people start to get some type of power okay they forget where they come from. All right, there's a a level of uh, eliteness. I'm sure that's probably not a word, but I'm making the word uh, eliteness. <laughs> okay, that they have about them. They they feel like you know I'm over you and you're down here. And I'm not sure if that's done on purpose to keep us studying, because that's all it's going to do to me. Not to be in competition, but to to show um, that uh, I don't care where you at. I don't care if you're an elder, a deacon, a preacher, a pastor, a minister. Uh, it don't matter who you are. The president of the United States, an ambassador. I don't care who you are. I'm going to confront you. Um, and I'm not going to stumble over my words because I don't. You, you can believe just like I can, so you're no better than me, or you're not better than anyone. All right, so I'm going to come up to you because I respect you. All right, I'm going to ask you questions, and if I don't understand your answer, I'm going to ask it in another way. So hopefully, we can have, you know, so I can understand how to you know comprehend what you're saying okay but when people start to come out the mouth with an arrogant um you know comments or an arrogant reply to because i've sent some people an email about you know certain things and it was pertaining to the calendar all right okay um now, of course, you know, the, the wise brothers, that's who I call them, the gathering, the gathering of Christ, you know, they came out with the video, perfect video, nothing wrong with it. Um, it was perfect. But see, the, when I say but, I, that doesn't mean I'm trying to show, you know, have, put some, you know, conjecture there. But what I'm trying to show is, you know, March 2013. Uh, as the brother said in the video was March 17, 2013 is the first day of the year. Okay. Now, when you go through the solar calendar and Enoch calendar, that Enoch calendar never changes. When you do the solar calendar, it never changes. Equal day, equal night is always the 16th. 548 548 that's Jerusalem time 548 548 March 17th and that's why I that's why I agreed to the video so much and I and I love the video I like watching I watch it a few times March 17th first day of the year 549 you're going to have one more minute more of daylight that day 548 548 I'm going to say it again cuz I want to make this very clear that's equal parts night and day. 
okay? Eber parts day and night, because I was told that, no, you can't do it that way, you have to do it the other way. I'm, I'm not going to go walk, we're not on a seesaw, we ain't, we ain't no kids, we're not going to be going back and forth. Equal day, equal night, boom, 17th, first day of the year. Got one more day of sunlight. Common sense, that's very easy to understand. It's not, that's not hard. So the book of Enoch is on point. You're going to have four Sabbaths out of a year. Okay, there's only 30 days in each month. You got to add a next, you got to add one day to, to the change of season. Easy, four extra days, 364, easy. Very easy to understand. My question is, if if it's always continuous, consecutive, perpetual, I don't care how many repeated repeatedly on the seventeenth, first day of the year, doing a solar calendar, Enoch's calendar, and you go into the Gregorian moon calendar, okay? And you see March 16th, the first day of the year, something's wrong. It don't, it don't line up. So to go back, you know, I asked some people, okay, sent them an email. I asked some people, I was like, well, what day in 2014 is the new year? They gave me the same day that I have circled. The 16th. 15th is Saturday sundown. Okay. You got the 15th there. That's the Sabbath. Remind you, remind you, this is a moon, this is a stupid moon calendar. I can't stand, let me tell you this, man. When I was looking at the email, I was, I started to boil. But this really, what's the right word I can use? Tick me off. When they tell me March 15th, uh, well, the Sunday's the 16th. That right there irked me. That's how we say it in the, in the DC irk. You know, I'm from Merck. You know, we got that. And I'm trying to just calm myself because I want to make sure. You know, because I want to make sure what I say out of my mouth is, is is righteous. Now, I'm not going to make no videos of these people. All right. People send me videos all the time about individuals or groups. I don't play that game. I'm not going to play that. I'm not going to condone to making a video against someone. Okay. I don't do that. I don't, I don't roll like that. That's disrespectful and all that's going to do is make you age faster. I have enough aging issues here. All right. So there you have it. But when I was told that, OK, the 15th is Saturday is the 15th is a Sabbath and Sunday is the new, you know, is the 16th. That's off. Way off. Not too off, but it's still don't line up with this. Because if you look at the 15th of this sun calendar, it's more daylight. I mean, you got more nighttime, 549. Then you got 547. So how in the world can the 15th be a true Sabbath or the last day of the year? And how can the 16th be the new year when it's 548, 548? So the moon calendar again. The moon. I mean, come on, man. How hard is this to understand? This is off, you know. Look. March 15th is Saturday. How is that? If you're following Enoch's calendar. Okay, so like I said, I'm 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 going here again for the last time. I'm not going I'm not going to get into this again. It's already been stated. 
is already clear. People are starting to hit me up with positive responses knowing they can see it. They can see it. It could be a little bit of a headache. You know, I had one brother hit me up. I checked his calendar. It's the same. He's doing the same. It's because it makes sense. Your Sabbath is not going to correspond every year. It's going to be all five years. That's why when you check the 2013 calendar, matter of fact, you can. Let me show you where it, where it corresponds again. It does it throughout the year sometimes, okay? I'm not going to downplay the moon 100%, but she's off when it comes down to following the holy days. All right. M month seven, you got this. You see where it says, sometimes, yes, your Saturdays will fall on their Gregorian Saturday. Our Sabbath, sometimes throughout the year, will fall on their Gregorian Saturday. Let me just say that very clear again. Our Sabbaths through Enoch, one through seven, one through seven, one through seven, you got four Sabbaths, four sevens is 28, four Sabbaths in a month, will correspond sometimes to the Gregorian moon calendar, okay? Sometimes. Sometimes five years from 2014 to 2000 to, to 2018 is going to be off. But 2019 is going to be March 17th. That's not a coincidence. It's written in the book of Enoch. She's going to be off. If you go to 2019 times I mean plus five you're going to go to 2024 calendar March 17th will show the first day of the year just like this is going to this, see people don't understand I, 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 this never changes the sun never changes its course so of course 548 548 March 16th is equal day equal night it's always like that. So the next day is going to be the new year because you got one more uh, minute of daylight. It's going to always be like that during the solar calendar. So how in the world can you say that March 14th, I mean, excuse me, March 15th is the Sabbath and then the 16th is Sunday, the first day of the year. That don't make sense. You're off a day. Why? Because this year has 20 February got a, two days off. So it's going to throw everything else off. So it's very clear. It's, it's very clear. And I got, like I said, I got one brother, two people. And we're going to work together. I'm going to get with these people after the classes. And I have to get with them. We're going to come together. We'll have a Skype meeting and we're going to get it. We're going to get it right. All right. When it comes down to the holy, when it comes down to the true. Now, like I said, the Enoch calendar is 100 percent correct. The gathering, the gathering of Christ Church brothers, they taught that perfect. It, it, that That's perfect. There's nothing wrong with the teaching. But what I'm trying to show people is. How can you correspond? The Enoch calendar to a Gregorian moon calendar is this impossible. So how can how can someone tell me? that the March of 2014 15th the Saturday of, of, of March is the last day of the year and the 16th is the new year that's impossible when you had 28 you know what I'm not going to be repeating it more it's common it's, it's easy to understand it's easy to understand okay now this is what I want to say though I may not be 100% correct on the actual days I may be off you know, because like I said, we see through a glass darkly, as the scriptures say. So certain things, of course, may need some touching up and brushing off. But as far as I know right now, 
as far as I know right now, I know for a fact that if you follow the Enoch calendar 100 percent, there is no way that your Gregorian moon American calendar or any lunar calendar will correspond with the Enoch calendar. If you got seven days with the Enoch calendar, if you go into the, the, the moon calendar, your Sabbath may not fall on the same day. That's why when you go into of last, I would say last year, a month eight. Matter of fact, let me see if I got some. See, this take this. Let me tell you, this tough really takes time to do. This this ain't no joke. This take time to pull up and correspond to days. All right. We're in month eleven right now. Our Sabbath was a Martin Luther King Day. That was that was our Sabbath. Okay, period. You would say, well, no, nah, you following the moon. No, I'm following the Enoch calendar, but the Enoch calendar don't correspond. So what some of us are trying to do is we are trying to figure out the seven day. We're, we're dealing with the 30 day, 30 day, and then 31. 30 day, 30 day, and then 31. And you have to find out, like, okay, January 14th was a Tuesday, but that's really not our first day of the week so that's why some of the days are going to be off you got to understand that the moon is going to be short I just want to make that clear so every day until February the the 28th that's that's a Sabbath that's the Enoch Sabbath it's not going to fall on their Gregorian Saturday Because you had 28 days, I believe, in February, we're going to have 28 days. So we're in a so-called leap year. So how can you say that March 15th is a Saturday, is a Sabbath? No, that's off. And that's why I want people to understand because I'm getting, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm a little surprised, you know, of the, of the people that I've contacted. To me, they should know. They are, there's, there's no excuse. Seriously, man. But like I said, I'm done, you know, with this. If you can't understand it, then shalom. I'm not I'm not going to deal with it no more. Um, like I said before, Christ won us. You know, we're under grace. If we do things that's a little off, the most I understand. Okay. Uh, we'll. I mean, come on, man. It's real easy. Though. I'm, I'm. Come on. I, I'm in my area of the Maryland, D.C. vicinity. Anywhere you go at in the world. Okay, even though it's see when you see that extra when you, when you see seven eighteen, seven sixteen, you gotta understand that sometimes it records shadow. It's like a shadow. But you still that next day, March seventeenth, you got one more day. I mean excuse me, one more minute of sunlight. So it don't even matter if it may be off just a little bit in this calendar. I mean, yeah, and it's on, it's on the calendar. But when you go right to Jerusalem, that's where the, the closest, where the, you can get the closest recording of the sun. So what's being recorded in some parts of the other world is like the shadow. It may not make sense, but that's the reason why it may be off by two minutes over here in this, in this area. But I doubt if it's off. It's, it's, I'm sure it's the same because I believe in the Bible I believe what Enoch said in any part of the world it's going to be equal day equal night so I don't care if they got an extra minute there or not but they, they had to put it right on Jerusalem for Jerusalem 548 548 so it was just more than likely in, the Mer in my Merlin area, area excuse me, a misprint that happens Human error, right? That's what they call it. Was it intentional? I doubt it. Okay? Because, like, if you go to 2014 sun calendar, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to post up here, it's time and date. You, if you put in timeanddate.com, all one word, you'll see that. Go to sun 
calculation, calculation, you'll see it. That's what Enoch is following. That's what we that's what we're following. We can't deal with the moon because it's gonna say it's gonna keep changing. Because if you go to 2014, I mean 2016 calendar, it's gonna have the Sabbath on the 13th or something like that. Let me check. Hold up. Where my, where my flip phone at? Let me check real quick. It may take a while. Let me see. Uh and this may take a minute because I'm trying to do it on the phone. I don't want to get on the internet because my phone acts stupid. But I'm about to go to the 2015 calendar. Okay, we're here. You got 2015. You got the Sabbath on the 14th. So it's, it's, it's not correlating with the sun. If March 17th is the first day of the year. So there you have it. Uh, if you all still want to enroll in classes, of course, um, the deadline is, you know, it's going to have to be a deadline, you know, because I don't want to, you know, I have to have it set up a certain way. Um, is, you know, uh, February 1st before class. Okay. All right. And that class is going to be on the Sabbath, according to, you know, the Gregorian. I don't want to throw people off. Okay. But there you have it. Um, this is my life, and I'll be doing this for the rest of it. Shalom.